WWE and Netflix have teamed up to produce an interactive movie called Escape the Undertaker. It's actually pretty cool. The New Day visit Undertaker's home and are trying to take the Dead Man's urn so they can use its powers. Since the movie is interactive, you get to choose what the New Day does or doesn't do as they explore Undertaker's mansion. The film has a decent amount of easter eggs and secrets that wrestling fans will love and I'm going to be sharing them with you right now. When the movie starts, Big E, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods split up to start looking for the urn. If you follow Kofi upstairs, you'll find a portrait of someone synonymous with the Phenom's career, Paul Bearer. The mortician is kind of like a ghost. Pictures and even videos of Paul Bearer appear a few other times during the adventure. That's scary enough, but it's made even creepier thanks to his eerie eyes and his iconic voice. This next easter egg is really awesome. After splitting up, the New Day realizes that wasn't such a good idea and they start working together. They find out they need two keys in order to unlock Undertaker's urn and this leads them to the basement. It turns out that the Undertaker runs his own morgue down there. I wonder if this is where he took Stone Cold Steve Austin in 1998. Anyways, the New Day search the morgue for the key. While looking, they find someone that hardcore WWE fans might remember. Uh, what is that? Look at the toe tag. Isaac Yankum? No, mm -mm. it's not. It can't be. If you don't recognize the name Isaac Yankum, that was what Kane was originally called in WWE. Before he became the Big Red Machine, Kane played an evil dentist called Isaac Yankum. This is such a cool WWE reference, and it works even better considering that Kane was the Undertaker's on-screen brother. Here's another reference to someone who was an important part of The Undertaker's career. The dead man eventually captures Kofi, Big E, and Xavier and brings them to his workshop. The Phenom is pounding on some nails and what is he using? A sledgehammer. To be fair, this might just be a coincidence, but the first thing I thought of when I saw that was Triple H. Considering that the dead man and the game fought each other three times at WrestleMania, I feel like there has to be some connection here. Ironically, it's the sledgehammer that destroys the urn when Big E grabs the hammer and combines it with the power veil he found earlier. Speaking of Big E, he makes probably the coolest WWE reference in the entire movie. When the New Day first split up, Big E looks behind a curtain and finds the Undertaker's living room. He walks over to a case that has three WWE championships. Stone Cold Steve Austin's Smoking Skull Belt, the custom 30 year anniversary Undertaker Championship, and also the classic World Heavyweight title. While that's cool just on its own, listen to what Big E says when he sees the titles. Oh, I need me one of these. Well, thanks to a little money in the bank, Big E was actually able to get himself a championship belt. Apparently, the creators of the movie didn't know that Big E was going to win the WWE Championship, so this is just really good foreshadowing. Throughout the movie, we see a number of actual WWE clips. They're usually just highlights, but there is one moment that's worth mentioning. After unlocking the urn, The Undertaker uses his powers to trap the New Day and make each member face their fears. For Kofi Kingston, he's forced to relive being held back in WWE. This moment in the movie directly references Kofi's rise to becoming WWE Champion in 2019. We see clips of when Vince McMahon told Kingston he wasn't championship material on SmackDown, as well as when Brock Lesnar defeated him in under 10 seconds. While that's scary, something even more terrifying happens soon after. When Kofi faces his fear, Undertaker offers to stop it if Kingston agrees to join him. If you choose to join the dead man, Kofi Kingston becomes evil. Right before the scene ends, Undertaker's druids walk out and guide Kofi away. It's so cool seeing Taker's druids, especially since they are a signature part of his character. In addition to this movie, The Undertaker's also done some disturbing stuff in WWE. Watch this video on screen to see the top 10 scariest Undertaker moments. 